I I think I'm going to start this as a small uh, Fuller Store podcast update thing right now because um uh the th- Shadow oh, Mewtwo Shadow Mewtwo is actually Did the you hear what people are speculating for it? Did you hear what people actually... are speculating for it? Huh? People are speculating that it's going to be a new Mega Evolution for Mewtwo and Zed, which is going to be announced. The release date for Zed's being announced on the 15th of November, and the Koro Koro issue f- on the 14th is going to have information for Zed. Yes, but here's the thing that's very important about this. People are wondering if it's a Mewtwo Z, a Mewtwo XY, or a Mewtwo just if Shadow Mewtwo is just a different species, and that this is its one Mega. Uh, I don't know. And people are also speculating that the Mega Stone is that the key, no, the Mega Stone is the shard inside of it, and the Keystone is that weird hedronal uh, sphere thing they see in the trailer. You know, it would never happen, but it would be amazing what? if it was hinting at a new uh, XD Gale of Darkness or Coliseum type game. I know. Imagine. I want it so badly. Oh, I think God. the president said something. Somebody in some position of power in Nintendo said that they weren't going to make another one just because they don't have a good story for it. So it's their excuse was. Guess what their guess what their idea of a continuation was? A comic book? I no, don't know. no, Battle Revolution was their, their idea of continuation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then that had no Stuff plot line. They bad. turned it into a theme park. Yeah, and it was bad. I enjoyed it it when I was uh, 10, and now I look back and I'm like... I look back at it and it's just like, okay, uh, it's just us playing Pokemon. uh, You know how shooters today don't have campaigns? And the only single player is just this weird tutorial or, like, um, bot mode? That's what what that game's single player was. It was basically everything that you were supposed to be doing with friends, and they just ran you against bots and said it was a story. Yeah. Um, my friend picked up, um, Halo 5, and it was supposed to last her a week, and she beat it in two days. Well, I mean, Halo games have been like that since, uh, since Halo 4. Um, Halo Reach, yeah. Halo Reach took a while. Halo 3 at his T didn't take a while, a while but it was kind of, it was kind of complicated to get through. And Halo 3 was, oh my god, yeah. Halo 3 took a while. They've slowly mm. been taking less and less time over, over the years. Oh, Laura, we're switching up the draft a little bit, by the way. Oh, oh uh, sure. What are you doing? Talk about the draft. Yeah. Uh, um, what is this draft? You know how you you know how PU is a new tier now. Yeah. Uh, PU. Well, as in... instead of doing instead of doing three from each tier, we're doing two from the five tiers instead of two from four, and we're grabbing a mega that's our only mega evolution and one extra Pokemon. So it's a draft. Yes, we're doing. It's like, say we took like. Football, but Pokemon. Well, uh, yeah, or um, or like just picking teams uh, and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah. So, uh, so where is this being hosted? Who's running it? And uh, um, where can they go to find more information? Okay, so I think what we're doing with it is we're putting it up on the individual channels. Our draft over Amino. Instead, we're doing it over Skype. Hmm. Hmm. And Laura, you're because participating. It... Yeah, I'm gonna get eliminated first round. But, like, I'm going to have fun with it. It's not an elimination thing. Oh, it's not? No, we do, uh, depending on how many people we have, this we this season we had 10 weeks, and then the top four people went off to playoffs, and then playoffs is an elimination round where it's two people versus uh, two people and two people. The losers of that don't do anything, and then the winners of that go on for finals. So what's important for the people, any, you know, any of the five people listening to this, um, is that this means I get to, um, uh, I'm going to kind of do some, like, I guess it won't be live, so it won't be shoutcasting, but I'm going to try to cover the events and all the videos and post them here to Full Store, so more content! Um, because this channel yeah. has had no content since Halloween, and Halloween was a from the vault. Did you catch that, uh, yeah. Swift? I did, and I like it. Yeah. Um, I th- uh, from the vault is a perfect way to use that video. Yes, agreed. Mm-hmm. Uh, so um, whenever, whenever Bushy Bushy is meeting with his family and having some fun with his parents and whatever, um, when he gets back, uh, 
my channel's been doing daily uploads and it's been like freaking me the fuck out uh because i'm hammering out these uh smash bits and not a vlogs yeah. They're totally vlogs. Like, I just want to leave a comment, and I'm like, I want it to be snarky and not jerky. I'm like, like, Pat, these are these vlogs. Hey, 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 they're not a vlogs. I'm not a vlogger. Uh, you watched Nintendo Direct, right? Yes! Oh, my gosh. Okay, bit of red card here. Space program? Kerbal Space program? Anyone Dude, excited for Kerbal I, Space program? What's amazing is that that's its first console release. Yep, it was on. It was only on Steam before, and it's going to Wii U. That's going to be uh, what so What else beautiful. am I excited? What, <laughs> what else am I excited for from that? Oh, I don't know. Hyrule Warriors Legends. I'm excited for the With new Star Fox. Wrinkle. <laughs> yeah, I know. A lot of people don't like it. I'm excited for RBY. I don't understand why Linkle's a thing though. Like, how are they going to fit her because into they're the probably story? Gonna ha well, here's the thing. Okay, one Hyrule Warriors have no story. Um, they're they're putting a story in. For Linkle. And here's the thing about Linkle, okay? Basically, Hyrule Warriors is League of Legends. No, it's Dynasty Warriors. No, no, what I'm saying is that it has a bunch of random characters that all have individual stories that kind of sew together, but have nothing to contribute to a giant arc of franchise. It's Ooh. it's a Nexus game. You know what a Nexus yeah. game is, Laura? Uh, I believe so. Sort of? A Nexus game is like Hero of the Storms or something, where they just take a bunch of shit, cross it over, and just say, you're all fighting in this one world where all of you exist for some reason. You know and what's hilarious yeah. about Hyrule Warriors? What? One of the weapons for Ganondorf is a key. He essentially fights with a key, pair of key blades. Oh my god. He, he uses the 8-bit magic key. Uh... Um, That's what throws me off about Linkle because I didn't see her first. Like, my brother was watching it and I heard it from the other room, like introducing Linkle. And I'm like, my first thought was, oh my god, they made a female Tinkle and she's getting a game. <laughs> and, oh, I can't get that image. Twilight Princess HD. Twilight Princess HD. Twilight Princess HD. Twilight Princess HD. Yo. No, but the yes. the thing about Linkle is that um, uh, people are suspecting that you might be able to play as a female Link in the future. As much as I want that, I don't. As much as I want that, that's essentially saying, "Hey, remember that crossbow game for the Wii that was irrelevant? Hey, it's relevant now." Uh, I think uh, actually she's derived from uh, the uh, um, like the practice shooting in one of the Zelda games. Yeah, but let's look at her for a second. Her weapon's a crossbow. <clears throat> Two crossbows. Not the point. Her weapon's a crossbow. <laughs> and, uh, uh, I keep, I keep almost saying wolf. Um, uh, fucking Cloud Strife in Smash Brothers. So many people are pissed off. So many people wanted Sora, but no, they gave us fucking Cloud. They, the reason why they have, cl uh, we have Cloud is because, oop, Bushy's here. Um, I'll add him. Uh, is because Sakurai is basically, um, uh, collecting every video game, every character from every like mm. title card from every popular video game series in in forever, and putting them all in this game. Um, He's what if I told you you were wrong? What if I told you you were wrong? What? As in, do you want to know why Cloud isn't? It? Uh, because of the new game. No. Do you remember? The roster voting thing that we all did. Yeah, he was not that even is on the top ten. Cloud, that no, is no, no, no. He is not the game. winner of that. You want to know why? Want to know why? Well, tell me. Because he's oh. finished. His character design is completely finished. The um the Smash ballot ended a month ago. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. <clears throat> He could not have been in design. Like, they would have to have started the development for the um, Smash Ballot character at least halfway through the Smash Ballot at, at, at earliest. And that was only a few months ago. They can't make a character that um, in that little time. They actually, that's not true. They, class, they, they tallied up the votes for it. Cloud the was difference, not in the top ten. The, the difference between Sora and Cloud was 1,000 votes, and Cloud was at the top. No, who the fuck cares? Look, Sora is not going to be in the fucking game. No, of course, Sora. the winner of the winners of the Smash ballot were Shovel Knight, who's not going to be in, King Carol, who's not going to be in, 
Nope. Uh, Inklings, who sadly are not going to be in. Paper Mario and a bunch of other shit. But Cloud was not in the... He was at like 13th or 18th place. Let's see. I'm actually right here right now. Um, Number one, I don't even know who this is. Oh, maybe this is a joke. Who's Shantai the half genie hero? No, no, no. Sh- Shantae is um she's an indie she's an indie game she's on the l- same level as a uh, um as Shovel Knight she's an I indie love third Shovel Knight I'm character. playing it right now she's an indie third party Shovel character from a franchise who's never gonna get make it into Smash Bros because okay. Nintendo doesn't recognize third party content. Phoenix are are Wright, we yelling about Smash seven. right now? Is that what's going on? Yeah, we're on a red card here. Yeah. All right, so I'm I'm about to drop some knowledge Swift on everybody. Swift thinks that that Cloud won the <laughs> Smash ballot. That's preposterous. Good have. Um, well, here's the thing about that. Um, unless if they announce it in December that that's the case, um, he's probably just a tie-in for the new HD Final Fantasy there, 7 coming that's out. That's exactly. And because Sakurai is collecting video game franchises f- to take over. Hey, man, good for, hey, good for him. This this broadens up such a giant spectrum that no one even cared about for Smash. And you want to know, know what people are thinking about December? What music um, plays during the it's announcement? It's going to be Hype Central. What music plays during the announcement of the December thing at the end of the jingle season. bells. No, it's like Santa's coming to town. That's the kind of music that plays when it's saying like new smash stream on December, or whatever people are saying okay. that that is Wolf's theme. Um, I didn't hear it, but I doubt I it. it. People I are saying that's totally going to be Wolf. And I, I mean, to be fair, Wolf okay, the so, left so there's two slots the left over, right? One of them's going to be the Smash Ballot winner. The other one's going to be a character we probably don't know about. Well, no, there, there's Lucas. There's, um, not Lucas. Um, uh, there's, uh, Cloud now. There's Cloud. It's going to be Wolf. Yeah. It's going to be the Smash Ballot. And it's going to be a Smash Ballot victor. And it's going to be one more. No, it's not. There's only two slots left. Oh. I no, like there's Wolf only yeah, like literally player. in the game, there's only two slots left for characters because yeah, Cloud they took can, up one of the remaining three. Yeah, but they can put one more in. They can put more in. Well, I mean, they don't time. have any more spots. Like the data is maxed out, is what I'm saying. Oh. According yeah. to according to them, anyway. So I don't know if that's 100 true. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I'm just glad that yeah. they got Cloud out without any leaks. Like they realized. No, that problem. that was awesome. I'm glad that was they a thing fixed, because Twilight Princess HD was a train wreck. People were yes. like, oh, really? That's a thing? Wow, we all knew about it for like a week. Yeah, fucking, but people are like, going to buy months. for the Amiibo. Well, yeah, no one knew about that. That shit's cool. Yeah, that shit's fucking yeah. awesome. Yeah. Um, Not that I'm going to buy it, but. So, know. trying to transition back into Pokemon, uh, there were two things uh, Pokemon rela- related. One was uh, red, blue, and yellow are now on the virtual console. Uh, uh, they aren't coming out till early next year. Sorry, they're going to be on the virtual console. And they Thanks. can trade with each other, which makes them, you know, which is Nintendo's combat combating to ROMs because ROMs, which means I'm going to host tournaments. Together. It's happening. Um, so here's the thing. OK. People are always like, you know, oh, well, what's going to be in the next remake? And then a bunch of idiots, idiotic Gen 1ers are all like, oh, they're going to remake Gen 1. It's like what we we went back to Gen 1 uh, before with Fire and Leaf Green. They would never go back to Gen 1 a third time. But then this comes out, and I realize, oh my god, they're going to ha- remake every generation into a new format, like Fire Red Leaf Green, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, or Oz. They're going to do that for mm. the whole forever. But at the same time, on a delay, they're going to release all the original games in their original style on the Virtual Console. So we have Thanks. Red, oh. Fire Red, and Virtual Red. And they're going to do that for everything. It's fucking genius. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Rewind a little bit. Run that by me again. We have red version. Uh Uh-huh. And then in five years, they made fire red. And then in five Uh years, well, well, 13 years. Um, In in like 10 more years after that, they made, they're going to make virtual red. The virtual console version of red. red. And then it's silver, soul silver, virtual silver. And the thing is, is that it's the original. It's a remastering. No, no, it's a rehashing of the story with modern uh, game mechanics and storylines. Mm-hmm. And then it's the original. But now you can trade across generations through the virtual console. That's how they're going to do it. Uh-huh. 
which means we're going to get classic ruby a, a classic ruby and sapphire and emerald um i i don't know about that considering rs just came out no, no this is going to be in like probably i'll say probably like maybe yeah maybe like yeah. a decade down the line in, something yeah. like that. in two years we're going to get gold silver crystal and <clears throat> at that time well, we'll have i don't know made. because we we can still play ds games is the thing we uh, can't yeah, play their GBA wi-fi games. their wi-fi is um wait no no they're Shot. No, I'm talking about gold, gold, silver, crystal for G G Game Boy Color, not heart gold and souls. Are, soul, 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 silver. No, no, but why would you? There's no reason to bring them back if you can still play them. Is what I'm saying. Well, that's why they made Fire Red and yeah. Leaf Green in the first place. Then it's yeah. going to be after the next generation of handheld comes out, which I don't think that will happen. So it might be in like four years or something. <laughs> watch um, it, watch it come out with a new cartridge and it's backwards compatible with like DS. Still. It would not happen. That would be so awesome. Are you kidding? DS was like one of the most popular handhelds. Yeah, it, it was. And like, so was the Wii, but they didn't give Wii U's backwards compatibility. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. It can play Wii games. Wii U did, oh, yeah, the I, Wii U I did. forgot that. Huh. What they took away from the Wii U was GameCube compatibility. Right, yep. right. They yep. only go back one generation. <clears throat> yep. And 3DSs can play DS's, DS games. Yep. And DS, okay. play, DS games could play Game Boy Color games. Game Boy Color yeah, games Game Boy, could Game play Boy Game Boy, Boy games. Yeah. Um, there is actually generation. a way to play a Game Boy Color game on a regular DS. I'm sure. There's a little tiny piece of plastic on the inside of the DS oh, well, that's, that stops that's Game Boy Color game from going in. <laughs> oh my nice. god, that's really ridiculous. Um, All you so, yeah, we have, we have a whole new generation of remakes to, to look for. Speaking of which, Gen Diamond one, and Pearl three. hype in about three years, maybe. Mm-hmm. It's three well, years from now, we're getting ahead of ourselves. You Let's say okay, but you say maybe, but look what's happened. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, there's no way it's not happening. Oh, there's no way. There's no way. Yeah. Let's get through Zed first, guys. Come on. Oh my God, Zed, what the fuck is gonna happen in Zed? No, wait, no. Let's talk about Pokemon Picross and how mad I am that it's a thing. Okay. Why I, are you I, mad? I know nothing about Picross. Is it a puzzle? Oh, I like Picross. Well, it's supposed to. Picross. It's, it's I didn't look into it. Of, it's going off the hype of the puzzle game that just came out. <laughs> well, the thing, okay, because the thing was, Nintendo was like, yeah, it's not our big Pokemon announcement for 2016 when they were talking about Pokemon Go and Pokemon or uh, Pokemon oh, Tournament. Oh, I forgot about Pokemon Go. It's and then they're like, all right, here's Pokemon Picross. I was like, no, <laughs> why? But you also have why? Super Mystery Dungeon. I don't care about Mystery Dungeon. I'm sorry. Yeah, I do. It personally does not interest me. They're trying to make it more multiplayer centric with this like weird internet thing. Hey, whatever. Good for them. Yeah, I enjoyed yeah. the first two. Like, I enjoyed the first one in Explorers of Sky. But Gates yeah. to Infinity was just like, I don't, you know I don't what? think including <laughs> all 723 Pokemon is a good idea. I think they should keep it. 723? What what, what what? did I say? What was I supposed to say? 720. Oh, I thought no, was... they don't have... Volcanion's not out yet. It's only 720. Oh, right, right, right. At um, least that's what they promoted. They'll probably do an event or something for it or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, probably. Oh my god, Volcanion, that fucking valley. With the... <laughs> Yo, Volcanion looks sick. I want it. Ha I have you heard the, our, our thing about Volcanion? I already have my set picked out for it. Bushy, have I you love heard anything about Volcanion? Types. Plot no. wise? All right, I have not. Uh, a little From the Vault or Mythologicasting here. Basically, what we figured out is um, from the lore of the game, uh, if you bring the Volcanion into the game, uh, there are three things we know about Volcanion. Uh, he's. He uh, there was an encounter of someone who met it, who met it, and apparently it can, it lives in fog, and it can like totally do a vaporeon where it just like disappears in fog, and it just makes a mist appear over the whole area. So uh -huh. actually, when we saw um, we we were thinking about of that when we first saw the uh the Zygarde uh, a hundred percent um in the fog thing we were like oh yeah maybe it's uh the fog from yeah point being is um the second thing is that uh there was a guy who studied volcanian and found out mm -hmm. that its organ the organ in its core is a wonder to pokemon biology it was a breeder uh and he said that the steam that it can create can be powerful and exert out a powerful enough force to blow up a mountain uh -huh. a whole mountain with steam. What's the only other Pokemon we know of that has a unique organ that's a wonder to Pokemon biology? The Mikado organ from Rayquaza. Just a little, little tidbit there. 
um, the Mikado Organ uh-huh. which is able to uh, Mega Evolve without needing of a Keystone. I um, want them to use uh, AZ and Volcanion. I want him to try and shoot himself into space. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the important use, thing. Use that. Volcanion. Use Volcanion as a jetpack. Here's the and thing about Volcanion, okay? Use Volcanion <laughs> is apparently worshipped as a nation-building Pokemon by a tribe of people in the southern region of Kalos, who live. Oh man, it's in probably region, the Draconians. Who live in a region where a mis- the- where a mountain range mysteriously vanished. We mm. looked over the entire map during our Mythologicast episode Ooh. of Kalos, trying to find out where this place could be. Uh, the first idea was, you know, that desert, which is a perfect fucking circle. We were like, oh, maybe you know that looks like the place just got leveled. But no, it's in the uh-huh. southern region of Kalos. And we found this place. You remember Turnback Cave? Yeah. Yes. And the whole... Do I remember Turnback Cave? Of course I did. Of course, I did a panel. Course. Um <laughs> yeah. You know how it didn't appear on the map until Platinum? Or yes. until you beat you know what I mean. Um until or, you yeah. beat Diamond and Pearl. You beat DLP four in uh, But it Diamond was and... always there. Yep. On on the map, there was an anomaly. There's an anomaly in Kalos that Bush, that Swift and I found where it could be this place. You know how on the yeah. map of Kalos, right next to the Pokemon Village, there's a little circle of grass next to the river in the middle of a mountain range? Uh, hold on, let me check my map. Uh, we yeah, think yes. that what's going to happen in Z is there's going to be, uh, there's gonna be a, an event that removes the rocks on the water right below the waterfall to the uh, to the northwest, not north northwest of the screen, but west south of the Pokemon Village, that will allow you to ride waterfall up and go to the place where Volcanian worshippers live. Oh, like the clouds in the south or whatever. Um, basically, there's a waterfall that leads to what could be that place, but there's mm-hmm. rocks in the way, so you can't go up it. I know what right. he's talking about. I know yeah. what he's talking about. Yeah, you're going to say, because there's, for, I'm looking at my map right now, there's in the top right hand corner and the most of the bottom and the bottom left, there's a bunch of clouds and stuff. That's what no. they did for Pokemon Black and White. Yeah, but that's, so. that's not what I'm talking about. Find the Pokemon Village tent. You can see it from the over. From yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it. there's a little green circle next to it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I mean, again, yeah, yeah. I don't see why that would be. But this, this is old news. Um, we covered this before. Uh huh. What's really important is fucking Shadow Mewtwo. Yo, okay, Shadow Mewtwo. Oh, I'm so excited. I like, I'm so right? hyped for Pokemon Tournament. I thought that so it was just some weird OC or something. Oh my god, so great. But apparently it's no, legit. It's, no, it's definitely Mega Mewtwo X with some kind of shadow nonsense going on. But well, actually, it's literally the same design. Mega. Mega. Got like giant, yeah. like, People are saying that it's a mix of X and Y. That's an XY evolution and that there's going to be Pokemon X, Pokemon Y, and Pokemon XY evolutions. Jesus. <laughs> It liter- but it literally looks like... At- Who said it looks like Y? I don't know. I was like, that's not it, the case at it, all. It, but I feel like they it would be posted on Therapy that it was X, though. I guess it's it, definitely I guess it X. Just next- well, it's definitely X you because it's in a of. too. You want to know what this reminds I mean, me that- of? What? Okay. Do you remember what happened with the Legendary Beasts um, and the differences between them? Uh... Suicune got her own game. Oh, Entai- yeah. Entei... Ente got a movie, and Raikou got the only spinoff of of the anime to that point that ever didn't have any Ash in it. Oh, Pokemon Chronicles? Yeah. Yeah. So I guess and- them having the X version in Pokken is because the Y version's in Smash Bros. He is a oh, that makes sense. His um, mega oh, oh, his, his 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 uh his Smash his uh. His final smash is side strike where he turns into Y. Yeah, he yeah. turns into Y. So it makes Everybody's sense that X explode. is in um in Pokken. Which means yeah, that apparently, both apparently Shadow... Shadow Mewtwo Yeah, Shadow Mewtwo's official name is Shadow Mega Mewtwo X. Mm-hmm. So, um so apparently so there's that. uh in the game, if Shadow Mewtwo makes an appearance, he would be able or, to I'm evolve sorry. into both. Indeed. I'm sorry, that's that's okay. Never mind. I just read an I read an article about it. It's the opposite of that. It's not official. Mega but Shadow Mewtwo. Like X, but apparently, um, uh, the way that its name is written out in the Japanese, um, as well as in the English, it's uh, the same exact way as Colosseum and Gale of Darkness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, people are freaking out. Okay, guys, I have a solution. 
The solution is Team Cypher is invading Kalos and are bringing over a Shadow Mewtwo as XDW. I need Please. a installment. I need it. <laughs> oh I need please. it. Please. We what all need the third installment of these games. We all do. But, but they're refusing to give them to us. But this brings me back to the thing I covered in our Defeatist episode. They're just giving up on X and Y's story. What story is there, though? Exactly. Uh, really? <laughs> That's, well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, the half-filled ice cream cone. So much potential. And then it just kind of like, they have all this war that you didn't Pokemon, complete. And they just ignored it. It was frustrating. But I mean... that's Well, that's why they kind of continued it in Auras, right? They had nothing to do with the... Like, the no, whole they, they continue no, 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 hold on. a little bit, no, hold on. AZ, AZ has something to do with everything no, no, no. that's going I'm, on. I'm talking about Xerneas and Yveltal. Oh, they're There's not important. an issue with that. I have an issue with the whole Xerneas and Yveltal thing. Oh, by the way, just be before we continue talking, I just want to say something, okay? Uh, this is yeah. very important information that I think everyone who's listening who's a Pokemon fan should know. It is confirmed that Oras takes place before X and Y because of... Mr. Bonding, which we can go into after Swift continues this conversation here. But remind okay. me to go back to Mr. Bonding. The issue I have with the whole Evel told Xerneas thing is in, they've confirmed that Zygarde Complete is way more powerful than both of them can bind. The problem is if Zed happens after X and Y, the hero has already captured them. So sister the, uh, games, sister games never happen as continuations, except for uh, Black and White Two. It's always the, a slightly the, different timeline. Also, <laughs> to to be fair, um, something I covered in my panel actually, um, usually there's more than one legendary Pokemon. It's just the player only encounters one of them ever. I doubt they're gonna acknowledge that in the game, though. You mean but yeah, I'm I'm just saying for story for story sake. Yeah, yeah. That's just my thing. my speculation during the Mythologic cast <laughs> was that Z would take place. Right after you defeat uh, Team Flare, it would just pick up. Can I please have a Team Flare that's led by Zerosic? Dude! No. Team, no, because Lysander is the bomb. Yeah, but he's but, dead or immortally buried under rocks. I hope he comes back as game. a cyborg. Um, he should come back as a cyborg and breathe thing, actual though, fire. It would have to be, it would have to be an only in one of the games. Because in X version, He's immortal underneath rocks, and in Y version, he's just dead. Yeah, he's not dead. It's Pokemon. He's fainted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only time people ever die in Pokemon is in movies because Ash and Pikachu both die. <laughs> so many times. And I'm Lucario. Sure someone sacrificed. Oh himself yes, in that's one right. One and Lucario. And Lucario never came back. No, 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 no. Stop. Oh my heart. Oh, that's my favorite <laughs> movie. Oh my god. Oh my god, Laura, we have to do a podcast on Pokemon and Mystery Mew. So good. Love Such a good movie. movie. Ugh. No, wait. If they were all that good, podcast, I meant uh, well, a Pokemon Mario and the Mystery of Mew is decent. I will give it that. My favorite movie still is the Diancy one. Red Chase! Wah! <laughs> I have not seen that one, so I can't say anything. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Guess what, Joe? Guess what, Joe? Guess what aired, um, I think it was yesterday. What? The Hoopa movie in English aired, like, yesterday. What? Oh, did it? Was it on Cartoon oh, Network shit. or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so we all got to hear the really derpy Hoopa voice. Yeah, I heard everyone was like, really complaining yeah, but, about that a lot. Did, yeah, but uh, did we already all about that guys, we already all that. saw the short in the Middle East, right? There was a short yeah. about Hoopa and some children and something about Arceus. And Donut. Yeah. Oh, what do you know? It all comes back. Here you go. No, it's a, it, the, the maybe, short. Maybe I won't have to change my panel ever. Here's the, here's the thing, okay? There's a short that got released months ago that I made Laura watch uh, at the beginning of one of our podcasts. Um, it is about <clears throat> some kids living in a Middle Eastern village, probably Afghanistan, uh, which would associate with the Dijani story of Aladdin and all that stuff. Um, and they live in a town that worships Arceus because they have a bunch of these, what do they call them, sigils or something, which are little statues of Arceus, yep. with whatever. And, nice. Uh, and Hoopa is there. And uh, just fucking around just hanging and out. being crazy and shit. And um, and our main character, this little girl, is like, you know, trying to teach uh, it to not be a dick. And then it cuts back to the present day, which is 
her brother going off in a braviary to go find the city or whatever, and she's with the Hoopa, like, taking care of it and shit. I guess, no, no. He wrote it a looking, braviary? That's here's, awesome. Here's the thing, okay? Here's the fucked up thing about that short. The guy and the girl are looking for the prison bottle to restore Hoopa to the way it was supposed to be. What they don't realize is, is that what we covered in our podcast is um, the Hoopa unba- the Hoopa Bound and the Hoopa Unbound are two completely different entities with very different goals. Hoopa Bound was raised by like Hoopa was bind? raised yeah. by this girl and learned to love humans. Ooh. Hoopa Unbound is a monster that's going to probably demon. kill her the first douche. chance he gets. He's a demon and he's a douche. <laughs> he's a fucking god. And he's wonderful. I used him in season one of the CPL, and it was beautiful. Because <laughs> I was the only one of us that had it. Like, Pokemon is getting way too complicated now. I can't handle it. That's oh, why it's mean, good, though. You mean, like, the fact that they gave a shiny Eveltal and Xerneas, which is the only way to get them? No, by that I mean, like, I don't, <laughs> I don't know how to speculate anymore. You don't know how to speculate? Okay, um... You were doing rather well speculating the whole Shadow Mewtwo Mega Evolution stone yes. in the chest. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Mega that- Shadow Mewtwo has this spike in its check that, that allows it to Mega Evolve, and this weird prism, which is its keystone that this lady uses to Mega Evolve it, that we saw in the trailer. And apparently it lives on uh-huh. some weird astral plane that it creates. And you see, I like this. <sighs> I don't know what is... Like, it's a Hyrule Warriors situation, okay? It's like... You mean the fact that it, the Hyrule Warriors is in a Zelda game and technically doesn't take place in the Zelda universe at yes, all? Yes, a Pokémon tournament ha- shouldn't have anything to do with the plot of X and Y, but apparently it's this, like it's like the same Shadow Mewtwo, but that girl can't exist in, in Pokémon. Be- uh, I can't... Oh, what's going on? I mean, to be fair, it's also a spinoff, so I'm not particularly concerned. Yeah. But what even is Mewtwo if Pokemon, nowadays? If Pokemon has done anything really well, it's not that they have never really mixed up the canon, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, they do have extra Except, stories you can pull from, but, like... There's one exception. Um, uh, the Pokemon, like, uh, farm thing where you had to get a Manaphy from? Or a Mew from or something? In Pokemon the- Ranch oh, the- or po- my Pokemon Ranch? Pokemon, Pokemon Ranch. Ranch. I love that's, Pokemon I think Ranch. That's it was so in cool. the canon. So did I. Pokemon Ranch was lovely. I had like a hundred Bidoof. They were all in a fence. It was great. <laughs> oh it was my amazing. god. Uh. The game was so cute. You could make so many origami awesome. Pokemon from... Yes. Beautiful. It was so cool. <sighs> okay. Um. So, uh, now to our probably most serious topic of the entire day. Oh dear. How many oh, of you know Wait. about Mr. Bonding in Auras? Didn't you tell me about this last time? Yeah, Maybe. same. Bonding is an aura? I've never the... seen it. Okay, okay. Swift doesn't know. Swift doesn't know. Where the think... fuck is he? Okay. James Bonding. Now. Okay. So, Getting Swift, ready? Swift, sit down and brace yourself. Because this is going to blow your fucking mind. Oh, I like having my mind blown. This is lovely. All right. And you're going to watch a video about this later <laughs> to uh, clarify it. Amazing. But here is basically what goes on, okay? Have everyone else in there sit down, too, because this is going to blow their minds as well. Um, the oh, only boy. one home. Okay, so, 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 so. You know how there's all those weird old color, colorful uh, old people that give you O powers? In Auras? No, because I think I got them all given to me through power save. Well, basically, um, through the entire region, there's a bunch of uh, old men wearing hip, colorful clothing, like of a single color. And they're like, hi, I'm Mr. Green. Here's an O power. Yada, yada, yada. Well, you can use uh certain event certain events within the game to get all of them into one room in Mauville Hills. Then when you have all of the colored colorful old men in this one room in the southern region of I think it's the southern region of Mauville Hills, they'll tell you that they need another member. And that they need a I think they're like a man with no power or something. And do you remember the the powerless man swift in Marvel Hills? No, because I've never had to run around there since I went to... <laughs> you, you, you never checked all the rooms? 
No, I went there. I thought you were a completionist. I know nothing. I didn't even know about fucking like. I didn't even know about Reggie, oh. Reg, the Reggie's. I mean, the Reggie Gigas thing until like the longest time because You're I welcome. went blind. Um, basically, what happens is there's a man who lives in Mother Hills who is a powerless man. He's always like, I am a man with no power. He's just lost and depressed and nothing ma- means anything. He's a businessman with no job or anything. So you invite him to come to the hang out with the guys. He's like, some people need a powerless man. Okay, I guess I'll go. He's all depressed. He's emo and shit. So he goes in the room and then he's like, what, what's going on? And then all the men turn to him and they're like, oh, hey, there you are. All right, we can all celebrate now. And they're all celebrating and shit. And then they're like, we, uh, we're here to give you power. And he's like, what? And they're like, well, I mean, it's all about our time to go. So we need someone to take our place in this world. He's like, um, so they all get in a big circle around him and they start dancing around him. And then one guy stops, walks up to him. The lights go off. He gives some kind of inspirational speech of how he gives the powerless man some kind of ability, some kind of like emotional bond, like a um, uh, um, blessing. And then when the lights come back on after a sound effect plays, the guy is gone. And the powerless man says that he feels weird. This repeats and repeats until there's only one old man left. And then when that one old man goes up to the guy, when the lights go off and the lights come back on, the powerless man and all the other men are gone, and there's Mr. Bonding. Mr. Bonding is a powerless businessman who is the host of like eight spirits of colorful old people that give you that give you O powers. And you wonder why this happens before X and Y? Because he walks up to you and says, Thanks, this was a blast. Au revoir, and walks out the door and heads to Kalos. That's deep. So wait, Mr. Bonding is the Avatar? <laughs> oh my god. So yeah, uh, you other, oh. little, you guys, I told you this before, right? Yeah. So, reflection. Wait, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So he just speaks French? And walks out and the then door, he goes, yeah. Did he say, he, he, does he say he goes to Kalos? He or? says au revoir. It's very clearly a reference to that, this is where Mr. Bonding came from. Mr. Bonding proves that Oras has. I mean, or before... he just speaks French. Yes, people have but... spoken French in Pokemon before. Yes, but here's the thing, okay? These old men do not exist in Kalos. Mr. Bonding could not have gone to Oras, split up, and then came back together in uh, t- together again. Mr. Bonding is Why a not? new creation created by this event. You create Mr. Bonding, and then Mr. Bonding goes to Kalos. Well, how do you know he wasn't together before and split apart? Because he talks about how it's like all new incarnation and shit. Okay, but incarnation, assuming that it is as it should be, uh, there's usually also reincarnation. I don't think that you would come back as the exact same looking person. I think the past Well, he sounds like like the doctor to me, which also... The doctor wouldn't look the same each time. But that's what I'm saying. I think what it is is that no, the, the doctor wouldn't. I think what the doctor what, never has. I am using this to justify that Oras happens before X and Y. Um, oh, I believe you. And I don't like. I honestly don't know what that ma- what matters out of that. I guess it what matters is um, if X and Y happened before Oras, then. I, I, I don't it's know. It's an official timeline. Because the only thing that links X and Y and Oras together in the present day would be the flower that AZ plants, but AZ must have planted that flower decades ago. Way before the events of X and Y. Yo, he's got or he's his mustache. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't know what the point of this is, but it might be relevant. I don't know. Oh. I don't know what the point of this that, Thank you, Laura. Because that's that's what I thought. Oh, Laura. Well, except for black and white, too. That's um, I know what the point everything is. Everything else that sounds about right. Yeah, I think the it's the legit. Of... It is the internet, but it seems it seems legit. The point of this is, we gave we essentially said, you know that annoying character that you hated running into. Yeah, we're gonna give you him now. No, so yeah, you're, you you're created him. It's your fault. <laughs> He's also Fuck got a crazy you. What? What pushy? 
I said, uh, he also has a crazy mustache, and I appreciate that. Yeah, because he's created from the souls of a bunch of magical old men put into the old body man. of a powerless businessman. It's the freakiest thing ever. Because you watch the you watch the recording of it, and it's someone's live reaction to it, and they're like, oh, "Where did Mister Pink go? Is, is he okay? Pink. Is he dead?" Mr. And then Pink. all the other colored men just like disappear, and he's like, "What the fuck is going on?" And then his reaction yeah. when Mister Bonding appears is just like, "Oh, I create. We just created Mister Bonding." Um. I okay. do love how we Hold use on. Doctor analogy here. Was that Swift? Um, I love how we use Doctor Who as an analogy here. <laughs> yeah, everyone's always talking about how uh, fucking uh, uh, Looker, Looker is Doctor Who and shit like that. Yeah. He is, though. He, Looker is, I, though. Yeah, he is. I'm, I'm 99% he's based off David Tennant. That's because he is based off David Tennant. You want to know what could be it, though? Um... So here's the thing that I think that if we are going on this looker as a doctor thing, um, it wouldn't make sense to try to look through his past chronologically. It would make sense to look through his past no, through personal development. So I think that I can further. I think that or as when he washes up on the shore, that's when he first became looker. Like, I, I'm not defending this fan theory. It's ridiculous. But if we're saying that this fan theory we're assuming that we're living in the reality of this fan theory. His first episode of his season is he washes up on, on Oraz on the, uh, on the Island. And then he does whatever is his least developed role through the games. And that's, and then more developed, more developed, more developed until I think X and Y is his most recent episode. It would make sense in the timeline too, with I where everything goes lines Oraz, up. Black and white. Um, I guess black and white two after the ORS, and then diamond pro platinum, and then X and Y. It's just one thing that doesn't make sense. Did he appear in black and white or black two and white two? I don't Looker? know. He appeared in, you, you, he appeared in black podcast, and white. Because... Uh, I did with Patrick. Ooh, yes, he did appear in black and white because you helped Looker go after all the sages of plasma. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think it he appears says in black that two. here that black two and white two take place at the same time as x and y what? so it wouldn't make sense if he appeared wait, wait, at black wait, wait no they don't exist in the same <laughs> universe laura <laughs> his oh, japanese right. name is handsome it's awesome they they can't exist in the same universe because mega evolution doesn't exist there <laughs> well this we have to wait uh, seven years until the timeline is exist. just doesn't it's take into account the parallel universes. Yeah, no, no. Well, okay, here's here's the other thing, too, is that even though it says these games are taking place at the same time, I doubt it's the exact same time. Yeah. Because if that yeah. was the case, then that would literally be impossible. What Considering, is, you know, there's what the is same What is very interesting about uh, Oraz Well, that's is... like... Go on. Oh, no, I was just going to say, it's like, you know... Um... Oh, because Looker was also in Platinum. Yes, that was his debut. That was Looker's his debut, I think. Yeah, that was yeah. Yeah, Looker's debut. I think... Um, what I <laughs> also, think is... his Japanese name is Handsome, and that's awesome. Yes, that's amazing. Seriously? Wait, really? Yeah. Legit? Ooh. Oh, yeah. I mean, according to Bulbapedia, anyway. What I think is... Um, most... what I think oh, is which is of... hilarious. Oh, that's oh, that's a localization. That's hilarious. Ah that's oh, funny. he's a looker. Ah <laughs> Oh, I just exactly. got that. Oh my god. That's Imagine hilarious. someone walking around saying, just call me handsome. That's awesome. Oh my god, that so makes cool. so much more sense now. It's nice. not a secret code name. He's literally, t he's like full of himself. Yeah. That's that doesn't match with his character at all. <laughs> nope. Oh, but no, crazy. there's multiple yeah, ways to confirm that Looker... And the doctor are the same person, because let's look at it for a second. Looker looks like David Tennant, but when he washes up on the battle resort, he has no memory. Yeah, that's gotta be his when first Matt episode Smith of the season. When Matt Smith regenerated into Peter Capaldi, Capaldi had no memory. Same thing as every uh, uh, also he speaks French. Huh? I said also Looker speaks French sometimes. True, true. Yeah. Not that that has anything to do with anything. It's just something he does, apparently. Yeah. Uh, Japan loves French yeah. people. Um, the one that he had to die, that was an Odd wasn't it? Yeah, Odd Knight. 
Yeah, because he gives you the Audenite. Because he don't know. Yeah, maybe <sighs> he just old. maybe he just his oh original maybe the the version before him. What what came before David Ten? Uh, uh what was his name? Christopher Eccleston. Yeah, it was it. Yeah. Christopher- maybe he did some shit in the Mega Evolution Universe World uh, version of X- of Black and White, and then he went to Hoenn, crashed, regenerated, washed up on the shore. And then he was like, I don't know, just gave you the stone. Or it's just a Japanese pun. Amazing. Or it's just a Japanese pun. I don't know. Pun. I don't know what's going on. I think that's, I think it might exactly. be just a pun. Oh, Bushy, are you yeah, joining ta- us tab- for tab- Tabune tab- is kind of like, I don't know, or, or yeah. take a guess or really? something like that. I'm pretty sure. Oh. Let me double check. Oh, uh, Swift, ask your question. Which is why it's not it's not like Audino. It's I don't know. That's yeah, how you're supposed to pronounce Audino. it. <laughs> Bushy, I think that Swift is inviting you to. I just draft. call it a use. I just call it a useless pile of shit that's just there for EV training. <laughs> oh, poor Audino. Wow. wow. Legit. <laughs> Seriously though, what is Mega Audino's purpose? To look Mega um, Audino's purpose is <laughs> for, for lower tier Mega Play. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ja, right there with Anyway, so though. Bushy, are you joining us for season two? Uh, I think so. I don't see why not. I just uh, the problem is I gotta um I gotta see if I can get items back in my games. Win it for the uh, channel, bro. Win it for the channel. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. I asked you multiple times and I never got an actual response because I've been asked by the person who's holding it multiple times if you were still in it and I had no idea. Yeah, that was my bad. I dropped the ball on that. Yeah. Yeah. But so, okay, no, I can tell. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um so I guess uh lastly here, um, right before we get to the leftovers, which would be Undertale, um, the last thing Pokemon related is uh I wanna make a little wide lens here about the channel. Um, do we have any updates on ideas to do for Genericon? Because my original plan of a panel in terms of a po- like just doing a podcast there. And doing all of our best theories is apparently uh, uh, not going to work because people don't just want to listen to someone talk. Uh, three people talk for an hour. So, okay, so I know you're not far in the game, but how would you feel about an Undertale panel? Because there's a lot to talk <laughs> about. Oh my god, we could do an Undertale <laughs> panel. Oh my god. I mean, we could. Do we could. I don't I just would it still be away. relevant in four months? Are you kidding? It's It came out like two months ago. All right, all right. We could just do an Undertale panel. But I was going to say that, or I am a sucker for trivia. So if we did a Pokemon trivia show, I would lose my mind. Okay. Oh, that'd be fun. Ooh, Pokemon trivia show is actually really good, too. Because, like, you could kind of do the way I did it last year with, like, prizes and stuff, I guess. Yeah, I think Pokemon um, trivia And just pull is... audience numbers from Because I wonder why I like this idea. Because for once, I yeah. could see a Pokemon trivia thing. That isn't just about fucking Gen One Pokemon. Okay. Yeah. See, that's every one fucking about a panel. game one and about it to fucking make bingo thing. board and trivia shit. It's all Gen One. Okay. Pretty much. But really, though, what's the what? Why do people not like Gen One? Because Kanto is such a uh, shitty my, region. My personal uh, gripe with Gen One, specifically, not like the remakes or anything, is that they were just broken games. Oh, they were so. They broken. were not programmed very well. So broken. Um, and uh, the other thing too is I, I, <laughs> I work around video games a lot. Um, and it sucks to hear people be like, "Oh, I love Pokemon. I played the Game Boy ones, and that was it." I'm like, "Really? Come on." Yeah. You missed out on the best. <laughs> I think game. I think the two main problems with uh Pokemon Red, Blue, and Yellow, um, mostly Red and Blue and Green, is um the games are broken. And uh, I. Th- and the map was bad. I think the map was bad. I think having to work around Viridian, not Viridian, uh, having to work around um, Cerulean? No. What's the main middle Saffron. Side? Saffron. Saffron. Having to work around Saffron City like a shitty RPG mm. was awful. What I think What I think uh, Pokemon <laughs> it, was was... It was a shitty RPG. I know, that's what I'm about to say. Is that I think Pokemon is just the mm-hmm. average shitty R- R- RPG of the 90s and 80s just retextured to be for like American kids. 
where you don't it's, it was it's it basically was it's time you remember that one final fantasy game that they made for america like really easy because they were basically thinking americans were too dumb to play <laughs> final their RPGs. fantasy legends yeah, yeah. Oh imagine God. imagine if that game was made in 1996 and 1997 but instead of being a just a terrible rpg it was a terrible rpg mm. that sold well and had <laughs> pokemon in it that's what Pokemon originally was. It was a retextured RPG for '90s kids. So when it, yeah, when it came out, it didn't really do anything impressive aside from it. the link cable. I think that the most impressive the... thing about Pokemon original is a collectible art. Like, has there ever been an RPG up until that point, or even today, an RPG based on collecting? Yes. Other than collecting, cards. um, I think. I think Dragon <laughs> Quest, I think, might have done it around that time. Um, yeah. Also, I believe... Uh, yeah. Dragon Quest is What's it called? Freaking Shin Megami Tensei. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, that you. same era. I think Pokemon Red and Green were those. just a collectathon centered RPG in a world that made yeah, that's, intrinsic that's sense. Tell. It was, oh, you gotta get all these characters, and, you know, the only way to do that is to interact yeah. with other people. That's what and made it I think it the sell. reason why it worked so well is because it wasn't in a fantasy world. It was in, yeah. It was, it was in very grounded region, in reality, and it made sense. It wasn't go get these four gems to unlock these four deities or whatever the fuck to restore the balance of nature. It was fight, yeah. grow strong, fight, win, be the best. Your kid, go get some monsters and protect that's yourself. why. That's why the game sold well because it was simple. It made sense and it was easy if you had the right Pokemon. Otherwise, it was fucking difficult. Yes, yeah, Alkazam happened. Lock two. Um, Easiest game yeah. for Nuzlocke. Uh, anyway, um, oh yeah, yeah, you're you're all right, Slash. Um, and then the reason why I love Gen Two so much is because it completely reversed every moral and so a philosophical decision that Gen One made. And I think uh, I was going through my old folders of like old memes and shit that I'd saved in 2013. I think my favorite thing is um, it was a picture of it was like the Keanu Reeves, like, oh, my God, dude, uh, meme. And it was captioned. Every Pokemon game is about a casual player being better than all the competitive players. Wait, what is this? It, it's It's an old meme with a caption, and the caption is basically like talking about Gen 2 and how. It's about a casual player being better than all the competitive players. A kid who nice, yeah. Um, while it's less uh, true today, I think Gen Two is just like Gen Two was. Instead of being a shitty RPG with a good texture on it, it was a good RPG with a good texture on it. Because it was uh, about was... it was about like all these people in this world who are obsessed with this idea. That came from probably from Red becoming a celebrity and letting everyone know that it's all about just being strong. And then you have people like Whitney and people like Claire who are just trying to be stronger than everyone by cheating, you know, having their dad buy them Pokemon or by just getting all the best type of a Pokemon. And then you have this kid come along, you know, and, the, and they're silver too and all this shit. And you have this kid come along who treats Pokemon nicely. Something so preposterous that only the elders remember a time where people did that. Gen 2 is just a gift. It's a godsend. It's The philosophy of the game is beautiful. Karen, all that stuff. All right, anyone uh, have any other topics before you? Anyone have any other uh, things to talk about or to continue from what my little speech before we talk about Undertale? <clears throat> um... Uh... Let's see. I'm excited for 2016. Um, am... It's going to be the year of Pokemon, and my time has finally come. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah. Because, <clears throat> uh, well, Pokemon Go comes out next year. Oh, uh, yeah. Pokemon Tournament comes out next I... year. Supposedly, oh, Pokemon yeah. Z is supposed to come out next year also. But yeah, but no it's going to be in winter. It's going to be in the winter. Sure, so. Yeah. Yep. So. <clears throat> has, has a Pokemon... Also, supposed, supposed Amiibo support as well, for mm. uh, at least for Pokemon Tournament, because you get a card... Uh, with the first run of it, so yeah, yeah because uh, Shadow Mewtwo uh, is a yeah, card Yep. 
It's a, a car. So reader. that's something. By the way, can I just say something? Nintendo has been trying to do this for d decades. The Game Boy Advanced had e-readers for cards and shit, but it was a total e -reader, flop. The e-reader was terrible. It was, it was so bad. It was bad. a total flop. But like, Nintendo's been trying to do this since the fucking Game Boy, and it finally started to work with the Wii U, the least successful of all yeah. the systems. Yeah. Yeah, for the most part. Mm -hmm. One oh, of anyway. you Can I just say uh, <laughs> that fucking bundle that was announced in the in the thing, the bundle with Smash and Splatoon in it, that's. Brilliant. It's time to buy a Wii U. Pat. It's time it's to time. not me. I mean, Laura has to buy it, but like, it's time to buy a Wii. I mean, U, anyone, Laura. whoever doesn't matter. Everyone buy a Wii U. I kind of want one, it's... but at the same time, I I need a new 3DS because my old one broke. So yeah. priorities. <laughs> Listen, I'll just I'll just call up my friend Delibird. He'll drop one into your house. Or it could be a. Bomb I'd drop. be cool with that. It could be a. Bomb. Or it could be. Yeah. No. No guarantees. But hey, it's only a one and fourth chance. I'll do about three fourths of your health. Yeah. Jesus. Or I'll take that chance. chance. No, it's for one for Splatoon and and Splatoon Yoshi's and Woolly Worlds. Well, you have to buy Yoshi's World. <laughs> Lord. Uh, also, something I think I actually want to mention now that I think about it with the amiibo stuff. Um, so far, most of the Pokemon amiibo that are out, they're in Pokemon tournament. Oh. Um. They have except to Jigglypuff. Support. They have to announce it because uh, Jigglypuff is the only one that is an amiibo that is not in Pokemon tournament yet. So I amazing? swear to God, if Jigglypuff is in this game, I'm but gonna lose my Jigglypuff mind. Jigglypuff is a fucking balloon; it can't get punched repeatedly. Okay, but here's the deal: Gardevoir is not a fighting type. Yes, but neither is Suicune. Oh, actually, Suicune's on a. Yes, but I say, they watch have him a... come out with uh, the mm -hmm. remaining Pokemon for Amiibo. That'd be cool. Yeah, true. Can I just say it's that true. I'm so excited <laughs> because, like, as soon as I saw Pokemon Tournament, I thought about Type Wild, and as soon as I thought about Type Wild, I realized. Oh my god, we might have an actual licensed Pokemon game with other colored Gardevoir. And then they have gameplay from uh, the Dex upload gameplay footage of a red Gardevoir. Oh my god. Guys, That's there's red Gardevoir. The world. Do you guys know yep. about this? The... Yes, uh, you showed me a while ago. Pat has the what? Showed me. You've begun pan. You've begun fangirling. It's the end of the world, dude. I've been fangirling oh ever world since I saw her world. little dance. Like, uh, in one of the earliest videos, they had a uh, like in the Guard of War reveal. Uh, they have her do this little spin and bow thing, and then after she finishes her bow, her eyes go into carrots. You know the up arrows, and then she dances away really happily. I'm like, oh my god, I love Japan. <laughs> but yeah, there's the Red Guard of War, which forget the whole. Let's forget her jumping. Yep, and uh, she Marilyn Monroe's every time she.